Despite bodybuilding for almost 10 years, I never really worked out my upper legs because I did not find large muscular quads and hamstrings desirable. But let's be honest, no one wants a flat ass. There are exercises that you can do specifically to isolate the glutes without the rest of that leg musculature. Most of the exercises I see recommended by others will actually use the entire legs as opposed to just the glutes. But with certain changes in form and weight, we can alleviate that. My general training philosophy is time under tension, high volume, short rest time, moderate repetition tempo, taking the muscle to failure nearly every set. However, I do this with a light weight to isolate the muscle. So the rep range is usually 15 to 20 for the lighter sets and 10 to 12 for the moderate weight sets. With this technique, you can even perform compound exercises without using accessory muscles. But we will focus on exercises that most people can execute without advanced training knowledge. The most important aspect being that you are feeling the muscle contraction during the movement. If you want to work your glutes, make sure you feel it in your glutes not quadriceps or hamstrings. The first exercise is a cable twist, and I do these just about every single time I'm at the gym. To perform this exercise properly, you need to grip the cable statically with your upper body. The only movement being the twisting of the abdomen. The leg close to the cable is static, and the opposite leg is pivoting to stimulate the glutes. You really want to squeeze that glute throughout the motion, but especially at the end. The only muscles being worked here should be your core and glutes. I also make sure to switch up my hand grip every other set, alternating between my left and right pinky being at the bottom. Most people think hip thrusts are an isolation exercise, but when you use weight, the hamstrings tend to get stimulated. By not using weight or a very light amount of weight, no more than 40 or 50 pounds, you can really squeeze and contract the glutes throughout the movement. Here, I actually switched up my foot positioning several times, the first time being normal, then I put my feet together to isolate a different part of the glutes, Finally, I put my feet even further apart to isolate a different part again. Legs closed, good girl. Legs open, bad girl. Even with a light weight, sometimes you are not activating the hamstrings. It varies day to day, so I'll try a set and if it feels good, I'll do a few more sets. If not, I move on to a different exercise. This is because of muscle recovery. If your glutes are recovering from your previous workout, your hamstrings might take over and you might need a day or two more of rest before you can come back to this exercise. Hyperextensions are normally known as a lower back exercise, but they do stimulate the glutes and hamstrings. I do the same thing I do with hip thrusts, where I try a set and if glutes are activating well, I will do a few sets. If not, I move on to something else. Reverse hyperextensions are a better option. Here is my ghetto reverse hyperextension setup. You really want to squeeze the glutes at the top. This exercise as well as the cable twist are definitely the best for strict glute isolation without worrying about activating the hamstrings. Only issue is many gyms do not have a reverse hyperextension machine and the ghetto setup isn't really that good. It's a lot more difficult uh, to do the exercise without a stable base and a lack of distance from the ground. Good mornings are a great compound movement. And if you use a moderate amount of weight, you are able to stimulate your glutes very well. I don't usually go over 80 pounds when doing this exercise. I also don't like doing low bar good mornings for the glute stimulation. So I position the bar higher on my back. When you do these, make sure to almost hump the air and really flex the glutes at the top of the movement. If you position your feet wide and lean back, you tend to overwork your hamstrings. To alleviate this, you can narrow your stance and almost lean forward a bit. This is another exercise that can stimulate the hamstrings. So always see how a set feels on that day. 
I did forget to show you guys an exercise, which was a very light leg press focusing on squeezing the glutes, but not a free weight loaded leg press, a machine leg press or a cable based leg press. You simply put on the second lowest or lowest weight on the machine and try to do the repetitions without activating your quads and hamstrings. If you position your feet high enough on the machine and mess around a little bit with that foot positioning, it can be very easy to isolate the glutes, but as with the other compound movements, it can vary from day to day. Thank you guys for joining me. Please let me know how your booty workout goes and what other videos you would like to see. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, really helps me out. If you would like to support me further, definitely check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. High quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also check out frankiesnaturals.com, minimal ingredient, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. If you guys would like to reach out to me for health or fitness consultations, you can shoot me an email, frankatefano at gmail.com. Everything is down in the comments, guys.